Okay, welcome back. Here we are. Part 4, maybe 5, I forget, of uh, Minecraft and Kerbal Space Program. So I got a couple of new improvements here. Basically, uh, to recap, we have, um, we are playing Kerbal Space Program and launching a rocket from inside of Minecraft. And there's two ways to do it. One is we can fly this thing manually. So if I click these inputs, you'll notice right there. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I have to turn it into manual mode. I'm getting input from the switch plates. That's my pitch. Pitch down, pitch up. Oops, there it is. You can see the live stream on the uh, on the screen there. If I do roll, you can see it's actually uh, moving these controls. So, that's one way to do it. I can do things like, you know, turning on SAS, turning on RCS, etc. Um, there's another way to do it, though, which is we can switch this into autopilot. Uh, and basically there is a redstone contraption that routes through all this mess and then goes outside here into the quote-unquote autopilot guidance system thingy. This is a monstrous redstone contraption. I can't really call it a computer. It's not actually executing instructions or anything like that. It's basically just two D flip-flops and a ton of wiring. Um, this is basically going to execute in uh, about five stages. So, like, the first stage is get up to 20,000 feet, uh, meters, I'm sorry, uh, then to um, separate the stages or turn over, do the gravity turn, all that good stuff. So there's about five different actions we need to take in certain sequences. And uh, if you'll notice, one interesting thing that's happening right now is actually we are receiving live telemetry data right here. This is actually from Kerbal Space Program. Uh, and we're using ComputerCraft to uh, actually communicate with Kerbal Space Program Live, and it can do things like turning on different redstones, uh, redstone wiring when uh, we do things like reach 20, 20 uh, kilometers. Uh, so, okay, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. So I'm calling this uh, MindJeb the autopilot. Let's go ahead and start it. In a second or two, we'll start to see the, uh, the start input come through here. Oh, maybe I'm going to reset this. Nope. Hang on. Reset. Hang on, let's reset everything. It takes about 10 seconds. Hmm. That's new. I might have left the manual controls on. Let me go check that out real quick. Whoop, nope. There it goes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Basically, what's going on right here is that uh, the redstone contraption up there is deciding to activate this uh, signal here, which is sending out four different signals. Each one is activating throttle. Uh, you can see right now we have uh, throttle is active. What is this? Throttle's active and SAS is active. Um, I also have controls for pitch yaw roll. Um, let's go ahead and back up to our control room. Nice, yeah, that's looking great. Uh, unfortunately, we can't fly without SAS yet, but soon enough. Hopefully. That might be a little more challenging, but, uh, you know, baby steps, one step at a time. Um, you'll notice we're getting updated telemetry right here. When this reaches 20,000 uh, meters, uh, this this will light up, which signals to our, our computer here to actually go ahead and cut off the current stage and move on to stage two. Now, unfortunately, I only have uh, the first stage implemented, which is just basically to hit the gas and get in orbit. However, you're going to see in a second at 20... 20 kilometers here, this will in fact cut off. So let's uh, let's watch, check out, see what happens. So we're about halfway there, about 10, yeah, about 9k there. Um, here's some other uh, input controls right here, Most, mostly resetting the whole system. We've got our clock going. Um, basically, this is this is showing whether we, the computer thinks the stage is active, whether it's done. When it's done, it's going to turn off the output stage, which is going to kill the throttle. So we're at 15, 16. The bulk of the work is actually being done over here. This is actually uh, controlling what stage is on and off. Okay, looks like we're coming back up real fast on 20, so it should cut off any second. Yep, there it is. All right, and uh, basically, if we had another stage, uh, the output of this giant switchyard over here, this has now got stage two activated which uh, you can see we don't have any hooked up to anything, but if we do, it would turn this on. I'm sorry, over here is the is the output. This this would be hooked up to some other kind of output that could, I don't know, start turning the rocket. Uh, it could do the gravity turn. It could activate some parachutes. It can do whatever we want. 
So it's pretty neat. Uh, and basically that is Kerbal Space Program and Minecraft right now. So hopefully in the next video we'll get this thing actually launched out and deployed with parachutes on the ground. Should be awesome. Uh, until then, I'm signing out. <clears throat> uh, have a good night and fly safe.